Everybody from the homeland, I'm building myself a beautiful bathroom cabinet. Here's the stock that I'm using, just common pine. I've got one by eights, I've got one by twelves, I've got an extra set of boards here if I run out of stock, and I've got some lap board uh, for the back. Let me go ahead, uh, grab my uh, sled, get it installed on the table saw, and get everything roughed down to the appropriate size. So now we're just gonna go ahead and work on the, the case of this cabinet. Uh, here I've got uh, the two sides that I'm cutting out of this one one by eight. I'm going for 36 inches from top to bottom. Here's that second half. Again, this side's going to be 36 inches. Here I'm getting the top and bottom uh, cut for the carcass. Uh, the bottom I've got uh, 24 inches. The top's going to be 24 inches. And so are the two uh, fixed shelves that I'm putting in this unit. Ladies, gents, while I get this dado stack installed, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for supporting me. So now that we've got the dado stack uh, set in the table saw, we can go ahead and run the dados for the top, bottom, as well as the shelves. Here I've actually done something a little bit different. Uh, I'm not running a rabbit at the top and bottom. I'm just running a full dado. I've set this one an inch and a half from the top and an inch and a half uh, from the bottom. That's going to create a slight recess at the bottom and the top. I'm okay with that. It's just going to add extra strength to the cabinet. So uh, I've got a stop block there. I'm holding the material firm uh, to my square there and I'm slowly working the material through the saw. Now that the dados are complete uh, for the top, bottom, and two shelves, here I'm running the groove uh, for the back panel. Uh, remember the top portion, the bottom portion, and your two sides get this groove. Uh, again, I'm not using a rabbit here. I'm actually using a dado because I've inset uh, this dado three quarters of an inch to accommodate the French cleat that's gonna hang this cabinet to the wall. I'll show you how that works a little later on. But here I'm holding the material tight to the fence, uh, keeping my hands clear of the blade, and I'm running the material as smoothly and slowly as possible not to get any tear out. We're now finally getting ready to get to these slat boards. Here I'm just uh, measuring out my lengths and I'm going to get them cut to the appropriate size. There it is guys, uh, this thing went together uh, pretty easily. Uh, we got all the pieces where they're supposed to go. The slats back here, I just had to take three quarters of an inch off each side to get those to fit the 24 inch opening that I've got here. All that's left to do now, get that face frame and build that door. Boom. So now I'm using that uh, one by 12 uh, that I picked up and I'm just cutting thin strips and I'm going to be using these for my rails, my styles, my face frame, etc, etc, etc.
All we've got left to do now is make our own crown molding and we are ready for the paint shop. So here's a side profile of uh, what I just cut. I just set my blade to, I think it was a 40 degrees, two sides. Then I flipped it uh, onto its other side, cut the other two, and this is what I ended up with. I think that's gonna be really nice. We just made our own crown molding, guys. Ladies, gentlemen, we got the cabinet more than halfway complete. I've got the towel bar installed down there. That's kind of how it's going to look when you are looking at the cabinet. There's the inside. I left it clear. I've got a white semi-gloss on the outside. I've got a nice little walnut uh, handle that I turn here over on the lathe. That came out nice. I just put a little bit of wax on that and that came out wonderful. I've got the door hanging there. It's got a bit more time for it to dry, but when that is dry, I'm going to be installing it on <laughs> that. All right, I'll see you guys in just a minute. Ladies, gentlemen, the project is done. That French cleat made hanging this thing super easy. I just put the other half into the wall, into the two studs, and set this thing right on top. Guys, this was an amazingly fun project. Don't forget, hit that big red subscribe button. Thank you for supporting me.